Hi and welcome back to one of my tutorials. Today we're going to look at this uh, switch statement. Uh, sometimes you want to create a condition on multiple values. Uh, we've learned last tutorial that we could write a long else if statement for that. But if we want uh, to test three or more conditions, it's better to use a switch statement. That's much clearer. Yeah, I'll show you by writing another credit check program with an if statement and then with the switch statement. So open up the PHP editor and create a new PHP file. Okay, now uh, let's create the variable credit and uh, make the if statement. Go into the header over here and create a PHP tag. Um, let's close it up again. Okay, oh damn it. Okay, now we're going to uh, make the variable credit and set it to 10. Okay, now inside uh, the header I'm now going to make the uh, if statement. So let's say something like if uh, credit equals to zero. Now look, I uh, use two uh, equal sign symbols. Uh, that's because uh, one won't work. That's only for assigning variables and stuff. This uh, means it's exactly the same as zero. Okay, then open up the bracket so we can use more code lines if necessary and then we're going to say uh, echo um, your credit is gone like so okay close it off and then say else if the credit equals to 10 echo your credit is exactly 10. Okay, let's go over here. Like so. <coughs> and close this off again. Uh, now the last one, else if um, credit is bigger than 20, then echo you have more then 20 credit left like so okay close this one off as well now uh, as you can see I have typed uh, pretty much a lot of code but with the switch statement this could be written down a lot faster and quicker so open up a new PHP file and I'll show you uh, how to now make a new PHP tag inside of the header like so <laughs> and then uh, say uh, create another credit variable credit is 10 doesn't really matter what it is and then say switch variable credit okay and then use the bracket uh, case 0 echo you have no credit remaining like so then we're going to break it <coughs> okay stick with me case 10 echo echo you have 10 credit remaining break it off again uh, case now we have to uh, set a condition if credit uh, is bigger than 20 then echo uh, you have more than 20 credit remaining and break it off again <coughs> and close the bracket now um, as you can now you're probably wondering uh, why I uh, set a break over here. Uh, that's for a reason, because uh, if we leave out the break, it would continue by echoing all these things uh, when it found a match. Yeah, I'll show you. Now with a break, if you're using interpreter, it will say you have 10 credits remaining, because credit is 10, okay? But if we leave out the breaks in our code, 
that it will say you have 10 credits remaining, you have more than 20 credits remaining. But that, that's not the case because um, we only have 10, but because we didn't break it, it will say the next echo as well. So if you use a, a switch statement, break after all your, um, how do you say it? Break after all your uh, conditions. Like so. Okay. Now, uh, with cases, you also have some uh, something you can compare with the else, if you know what I mean. So uh, it's called the default in a, a switch state. Yeah. Let's say if um, uh, with it only gives a message when we have exactly zero credit or exactly t uh, ten credit. Now, let's say we don't know how much credit. Uh, let's say it isn't the case at both so uh, we don't have 10 and we don't have 0 but we have uh, 15 credit okay then the default like so would be um, echo uh, uh, we don't know how much credit is remaining like so okay now we can leave out the break because it's the default okay it's the last thing you will use so now so now it I hope it's clear that um, if it's not 10 and it's not 10 uh, I'm sorry if it's not 0 and it's not 10 then uh, it will automatically go to default and that's we don't know how much credit is remaining now of course you can uh, <laughs> set every text you want yourself here yeah, but it, it's the the mechanic that you have to understand uh, basically if we uh, compare to an if else statement it will say if credit is zero uh, then echo you have no credit remaining break it off like you know just break it off it's a rule you have to follow if credit is 10 echo you have 10 credit remaining and break it off but if neither of those are true, so else, go to default, so else, this, this, you can compare this to else, echo, we don't know how much credit is remaining. So, um, if we take it over here, it will say else, like so, else we have unknown credit, unknown credit left, okay? So that's basically uh, how you can use a switch statement and an if statement. Um, I hope you uh, understand the switch statement. I didn't uh, when I heard of it for the first time. But now I know how it works. It's pretty uh, useful to uh, use in some of your uh, scripts. Okay. So um, I, I hope you learned something today. And... Please comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you on my next tutorial.